Hey guys, uh, JC, I'm here with a quick uh, unboxing video. Uh, got here um, Husqvarna uh, a hatchet, and the shipping information told me that it would be here next month, uh, within the first week or two of, ne of the following month here. And then it shows up today, and uh, well, here we go. So we're gonna get in here and check this thing out. Now this is the first hatchet I have ever bought so and this, I think it's an entry level quality hatchet so I, I got sick of the the other one I was using out there it's a piece of crap it's got chips and a blade uh, I just need something better that and I needed a camping hatchet that I can use at the campsite so we're gonna cut her open and get in here This thing, uh, this here was shipped by Royal Mail, so I guess it came from the United Kingdom or someplace, because it didn't come from within America, that's for sure. Right, let's see what we got here. No bubble wrap. I don't think we need any. All right. Invoice stuck way back there. All right. So we got here the. Husqvarna here. Made in Sweden. Whoa. I don't know. I don't think the handle's lacquered or anything. It feels rough. Got a good look at that. Good lantern hole. See the grain? I'll see the grain. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like good green to me. Like that. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. the edge and it's pretty good it's pretty sharp it's a good starter sharp we'll need a little little bit of refinement but wow that is nice it's got a little bit of a uh, rolling just a tiny bit oh yeah and the, that part look at the profile Slims out real nice. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm, that's good. So, damn, this is actually larger than the hatchet I have outside. Hickory. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so no. It says no, uh, <laughs> no hammering on the head. What is that one? What does that one say? Oh, no, don't use wedges. Don't use it on wedges. Don't use it on steel wedges. I actually know what that is. <laughs> I actually know what that is thanks to uh, uh, Wrangler Stars videos. I actually know what a wedge is. So, uh, I hope these are brass. This is, this is nice. This is kind of soft. It's kind of supple. Okay, I like it. It's nice. It's not uh, not stiff in that dried out way. You can tell it's got some oil to it. So I like it. And that's really nice. So I'm gonna go outside and get my cheapo hatchet and compare the sizes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So, let's give our uh, and whatever the hell this thing is that I've been using. As you see, blade edge is craptastic. <laughs> That's what I've been using on wood for the last few days. So. Okay, it's about roughly the same size. Whatever the hell this thing is. Okay. okay this one's profile is a little bit, little bit larger. Oh, yeah, look at that nails. Uh, I have no idea the maker model of this thing. I found it in the garage and I've been using it since. Not only have that, but I have, I also found this axe head. I also found this really interesting axe head. I think it's a, well it says, uh, right there, Quality Masters. It says, it says, uh, Ward's Master Quality. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea if this axe head is valuable or not, so I'm kind of leaving it as it is. I want to clean it up with WD 40 just enough to see the what that said. And uh, uh, so that's what I got here. I have no idea if that notch came with the axe head or not. I don't know what it's for. So I sent regular star uh, pictures of this thing, and he hasn't gotten back to me on, you, on it yet. Posted it on his Facebook, so maybe we'll see. So, huh? This thing is slimmer. See that? This might be a good axe head. I have no idea. Anyway, I want something. I want something new that I can actually call my own. So uh, I got this. So that's what I got. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.